you guys have asked me about my career, and like I said, I've been performing for about 35 years, and um, I've done Tina Turner for most of those years that I have been performing. I, um, I started back in 1989. I had actually started two years before that, but I wasn't impersonating anybody. I was just trying to dress androgynous and be in drag, just to be like part of the girls, because Sokoba was an amazing place for diversity. We had everybody there. And back then, a lot of people used to follow Board George and Divine, and a lot of the celebrities like Madonna and Grace Jones both appeared at the Copa. I actually saw Grace Jones there twice. Fabulous. She was up there in the chair spinning around with all these band-aids all over her. It was amazing. It was amazing. We love this Grace Jones. Um, and I have, I started, like I said, in many of my videos for y'all, um, I started at a club in Miami called um, The Orange Juice. Mm, not OJ, The Orange Juice. And um, they used to hold a talent night every Tuesday night. And I went there one Tuesday night and entered the competition and won it. And, um, and then, but I was doing Janet Jackson at the time. And people kept saying, you got so much energy and that rawness about you. Why don't you try to do Tina Turner? So the next time I tried to do Tina Turner, back in the days, I was very athletic looking. So I was a lot more athletic looking than I am now. And I was much skinnier, so all my muscles were very defined. Mm -hmm. I had everybody looking at me, wanting a little taste of Tina Turner. Well, anyway, um, and I started doing Tina Turner. And I started winning everywhere. And then when I entered my first pageant, I was going to do Tina Turner, and then I changed my mind and then decided to do something on an off-Broadway. Because I really was drawn to the dramatics of Broadway. And Florida was known for community theater, and they did a lot of these kind of things in community theater, like the, the Wiz and those kind of shows. So I was kind of drawn to that. And then I just, after I won that pageant, I started doing Tina Turner in the little shows they would book me for being the reigning queen. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed I started making a lot of tips or a lot of coins. And so you do what they want. So I kept doing Tina Turner and it helped build, I built my career on doing Tina Turner. I've traveled all over the world doing Tina Turner. I'm very happy that Tina Turner let me have a career and gave me a career and hopefully I'm impersonating her and to 150%, I hope. Mm -hmm. I, I think she's seen me a couple of times. I mean, I've been to like a hundred of her shows. <clears throat> so I'm sure she saw me. And then when she came to Toronto for her farewell tour, she picked me out on the Jumbo Trial because you know I went there dressed as Tina and had all the cameras on me. Mm -hmm. You know how it is, Tina. I had to get a little bit of your spotlight, girl. But she put me up on the big Jumbo Trial <clears throat> thing there and was waving to me and everything. And it was amazing. And I was dancing in the aisle. It was fabulous. We went both nights on her farewell tour. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. And, you know, I know she's probably seen a lot of um, Tina Turner impersonators from around the world. I, I like all impersonators, no matter who you're doing. If you're going to do a celebrity, I just say, do it right. Do it right or the, to the best that you can. You know, sometimes we don't all have all the dollars to do it right. I made this dress that I have on. Some of y'all probably thought about this. I made this dress. I got all these rhinestones at the dollar store. I, <laughs> I shouldn't be saying it. And I made this little slip dress and I glued them all on with hot glue. And I came out with this piece of magic. Mm. Well, anyway, um, and that's why I do Tina, because she's raw, and she, she's got that 
that thing in her that she sells the songs because that's what's happening in her life. And writers write for what was going on in her life. Phil Spector really understood Tina Turner. That's why he got, um, and sometimes with artists, you need a producer or a promoter that understands the artist from within and not just from what sometimes they see on the stage when they're starting their career. And that's why her and um, Roger Davies got along because he understood Tina Turner. He understood that turmoil, that fire inside of her. Both Roger Davies and Phil Spector understood that. And they knew she needed to be away, <clears throat> excuse me, from the situation she was in. Something similar to Stephanie Stevens. Now that I'm on my own, things are looking good. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Tina Turner, for just keep going. And the fact that you kept going helped me keep going. And a lot of the artists out there, a lot of the celebrities I've worked with, one or two, three or four of them, I've worked with a lot of the artists from Cindy Lauper um, to Martha Wash to um, Phyllis Diller, all these people I've seen or I've worked with. And, you know, I wish I still, I wish I still had my MySpace page because I have all that stuff on there and I don't, and I tried to find it and <laughs> I think MySpace is wiped out. Well, anyway, those were the glorious years and I'm very happy that I decided to impersonate Miss Tina Turner. She's strong, determined and successful. Now she's married and happy. Uh, I'm not looking for a husband yet because I'm, I'm just sort of working um, to sort of get back on the stage and show them what I can do. And I'm, we're, cre we're, we're, we're recreating 80s con to um, cater to all of the 80s celebrities and to a lot of the music that made us dance and sing. And I decided to do this because I noticed this was missing. Even the young children are still doing, they're doing the old songs that we used to do, but they can't do them the way the artists do them because they weren't around during that era. But I was. So I'm going to, we're going to recreate the whole 80s con and make it in a whole Thing. We're going to put it in the convention center with artists, booths, everything like you would see at any con, like um, Comic Con or any of the other ones, the all those big dramatic exhibit shows. We're going to do that, and we're working on it very hard. And I'm going to be headlining it because mm, I'm the one that came up with it, mm, mm, and they like that idea. So and then we're going to take that to Netflix. Mm, that whole idea. Oh, don't try to steal it, because I said it first. I was saying it first right here. 80s Con. Mm -hmm. Starring Stephanie Stevens, owner, producer, director, and just a fabulous queen. That's why I do Tina Turner, coming to you in just a year or so. 80s Con. Mm -hmm. Look out, y'all. Look out. I love doing Tina Turner. Strong and Y'all stay fabulous and just keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, did that help?